Hurricanes, typhoons, and cyclones are all the same weather phenomena, but hurricanes and tornadoes are not the same things. Yes, it's true that both have powerful, whirling winds that can cause substantial damage, but tornadoes form over land, while hurricanes form over warm water in tropical regions. But today our focus is on hurricanes, so let's talk about the top 5 facts about hurricanes. Hello curious minds and welcome back to our channel, but before we begin, consider subscribing to our channel for more content just like this one. And while you're at it, turn on post notifications so that you never miss out on any of our future videos. Consider dropping a like for this video as it motivates us to produce more content like this. With all that done, let's get started. It's a fact that every year the world experiences hurricane seasons, and during this period, hundreds of storm systems spiral out of the tropical region surrounding the equator, and about 50 of these storms end up being hurricanes. When you look at the seasons for a hurricane in the northern hemisphere, the season starts from June 1st all the way till November 30th, and in the southern hemisphere, hurricane activities are experienced from January to March. So almost 75% of the year, there is somebody somewhere out there probably worrying about an upcoming hurricane. Without worrying much, let's discuss the top 5 facts about hurricanes. 5. Cyclones and Typhoons By definition, a hurricane is a tropical storm with wind speeds above 74 miles per hour or 120 kilometers per hour. And these occur almost everywhere across the world. Hurricanes are also known as cyclones and typhoons depending on where they occur. If it happens in the Atlantic Ocean, they're called hurricanes. In the Northwest Pacific, they're called typhoons. And in the South Pacific and Indian Ocean, they're called cyclones. Hurricanes generally happen in the oceans, but sometimes it reaches the land, often producing a storm surge. This is when you witness high winds driving the seas towards the shore, causing the water levels to rise and thereby creating large crashing waves. Storm surges can reach as low as 6 meters and extend to 150 meters. Hurricanes are generally harmless when they start out of the sea, but when they move towards the land, things can get serious. 4. Alphabetical Naming Scheme Despite the fact that the World Meteorological Organization today names hurricanes after both men and women, storm names were not always so evenly distributed. Hurricanes and tropical storms in the United States were only named after women from 1953 to 1979. Tropical storms are now named in alphabetical order each year, based on a list compiled by the World Meteorological Organization that name stays with the storm if it develops into a hurricane. The names can only be repeated after 6 years. 3. Change in Direction We all know that the Earth is split into two halves, called the Hemisphere, and there is the Southern Hemisphere and the Northern Hemisphere. Let's say that a hurricane occurs in the Southern Hemisphere then you'll see it spinning in the clockwise direction, and if you're in the northern hemisphere, then you'll see the hurricane spin in an anti-clockwise direction. This is due to what's called the Coriolis force, produced by the Earth's rotation. Hurricanes come in a wide range of sizes. Some storms are small, leaving only a few bands of wind and rain, but the other storms are looser. With wind and rain bands spanning hundreds of thousands of miles, Hurricane Floyd wreaked havoc on the east coast of the United States in September 1999, and it could be felt from the Caribbean islands to New England. 2. The Eye Hurricanes revolve around a circular center known as the eye, which is usually calm and devoid of clouds. The eye wall happens to be the most dangerous region of the cyclone with the fiercest winds, thickest clouds, and heaviest rain that surrounds the eye. Rain bands are the bands of thunderstorms that extend outward from the eye. The evaporation, condensation cycle that feeds the hurricane is aided by these storms. 1. Thunder and Lightning Surprisingly, hurricanes aren't known for having a lot of lightning and thunder. Lower level rotating horizontal winds dominate a hurricane, with substantially less vertical wind. Only major hurricanes like the Category 4 and 5 experience lightning which is usually concentrated within the towering cylindrical walls of the eye wall. Apparently, sufficient vertical winds can occur in the eye wall region to create some lightning. With that, we have come to an end of our video. Did we miss out on anything? Do let us know in the comment section below. Drop a like for the video if you want to see more content from us like this. Consider subscribing to our channel for more content just like this one, and while you're at it, turn on the post notifications so you never miss out on any of our future uploads. That's about it for today, catch y'all in the next one.